The Truman Dam, also known as the Harry S. Truman Dam and Reservoir, is a hydroelectric dam located on the Osage River in the state of Missouri, in the United States. It is named after Harry S. Truman, the 33rd President of the United States, who served from 1945 to 1953. Construction on the dam began in 1951 and was completed in 1979. The dam was built by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers as part of the Osage River Basin Project, which was designed to provide hydroelectric power, flood control, and recreational opportunities in the region. The dam is located about 50 miles west of the city of Jefferson City, Missouri. The Truman Dam is a concrete gravity dam that stands 156 feet high and stretches 7,601 feet across the Osage River. It has a generating capacity of 48,000 kilowatts and can produce up to 150 million kilowatt hours of electricity annually. The dam also creates a large reservoir, known as the Harry S. Truman Reservoir, which is used for recreation, including boating, fishing, and camping. The construction of the Truman Dam was a major undertaking that required the relocation of thousands of residents and the flooding of thousands of acres of land. The construction also faced challenges such as budget overruns and delays due to litigation over the use of the land. Construction of the Truman Dam faced a number of legal challenges, particularly over the use of the land that would be flooded by the reservoir. One of the main issues was the displacement of thousands of residents who lived in the area that would be flooded by the reservoir. These residents were required to sell their homes and land to the government at prices that were often considered to be unfair and inadequate. There were also disputes over the use of the land for recreational purposes, as well as concerns about the impact of the dam on the environment and local wildlife. These issues led to a number of lawsuits being filed, both by individual landowners and by groups representing the interests of the affected communities. One of the most significant court cases was a class action lawsuit filed in 1967 by a group of landowners who claimed that the government's acquisition of their land was unconstitutional. The case was eventually settled in 1971, with the government agreeing to pay more than $18 million in compensation to the affected landowners. Another notable court case was brought by the Osage Indian Nation, who claimed that the construction of the dam would have a detrimental impact on their treaty rights and would negatively affect the environment and local wildlife. The case was ultimately dismissed by the court, but it brought attention to the environmental and cultural impacts of the dam. In addition to lawsuits, the construction of the dam also faced opposition from local residents, environmental groups, and some politicians, who questioned the need for the dam and the costs associated with it. These legal challenges and protests were not unique to Truman Dam, it was a common issue in many hydroelectric projects during. The Truman Dam has a number of benefits for the region, including providing hydroelectric power, flood control, and recreational opportunities. One of the main benefits of the dam is its ability to generate electricity. The dam has a generating capacity of 48,000 kilowatts and can produce up to 150 million kilowatt hours of electricity annually. This power is used to supply electricity to homes and businesses in the area, helping to meet the energy needs of the region. Another major benefit of the dam is its ability to control flooding on the Osage River. The dam and its reservoir help to regulate the flow of water in the river, reducing the risk of flooding downstream. This not only protects property and infrastructure, but also helps to ensure the safety of residents living in the area. The Harry S. Truman Reservoir also provides recreational opportunities for the public, such as boating, fishing, and camping. The reservoir has become a popular destination for outdoor enthusiasts, providing opportunities for people to enjoy the natural beauty of the area and experience a variety of outdoor activities. In addition to these benefits, the Truman Dam also contributes to the local economy through the creation of jobs during the construction and operation of the dam, and through tourism and recreation. It also helps to support local businesses and services that cater to visitors and recreational activities. Overall, the Truman Dam has played an important role in the region, providing benefits in terms of energy, flood control, recreation and economic development.